Hello and welcome back to part 12 of Daniel and his magic horse. Yes, in this part we ride the magical pony all the way home. Short game then, isn't it? Just 12 parts. I know. Oh. Well, to be honest, this is a short game. Please. Yeah, but yeah, either way, um, I, if you eagle-eye viewers would know that I've kind of messed up again and I should have had a massive fight in that back area back there, but I just kind of didn't because I went over time again. So yeah, don't know why I waste my ammo on this guy, I could probably take him out with a pistol. But either way, right, okay, part 12. That's not really a milestone, but we'll say it is. Yay! Let's celebrate part two. Um, after we finish the ODST and uh, Resident Evil uh, Let's Plays, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a massive compilation uh, video of every time you've said right or <laughs> okay, but you're making it. I can't be asked. Oh. <laughs> no. No. It'll be funny though. Run, grunt, run! Mwahaha! <laughs> Oh. Oh. I was enjoying that. Yes, by the way, get um sniper and um both both sniper and thingy here because they're both very useful. Fuel rod cannon, that's what it's called. Mm-hmm. And you can always pick up a covenant sniper. I know because um covenant sniper is very good. It. it takes brute shields off like in one shot, definitely. And sometimes even kills them in one. Like that. Everything's so red! This one doesn't. Boom! No. You fool. But yes. Everything's so red. What the hell are you watching? It was a second ago. Was it? I don't remember it. Oh yeah, because I got hit by a fuel rock. Ah, wobbly bridge. So yes, um, this part's... I, 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 I didn't really like it. It's a bit kind of tedious and repetitive, but... Um, Lots of playing as Romeo. <laughs> yeah, but he gets hit in this oh, one. Wow. Yay! <laughs> um, it's the only time he plays Romeo. And yes, um, uh, is it the only time? Yes, it is the only time we play as Romeo. What's that? He gets hit at this in the same one. That makes it good. Um, but yes, um, thingy. 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 Um, What's our some people find this place. Wasted? Good. It's good for a couple of minutes, but eventually it just gets boring because you're doing the same thing over and over and over again. Which is just shooting banshees with missile pods. I was this game, I suppose. As you would say. Uh, I don't know, what would I say? Yeah. Say it all the time. Do I? I don't remember saying things all the time. Pooping and giggles. Oh, for poops and giggles, that's the one. Yes. I don't say that all the time. Really do. do I? You really do. I swear I've only said it like twice. You're like, oh my god. I say either way so much. Yeah. There's not really much to commentate on this part, it's just a lot of banshees and missile pods really. That's until Romeo gets hit with the thingy madoodle. So yeah, uh, so we're just going to play some soothing music. Uh, I'm gonna read to you my psychology homework. The multi-star model of memory is an explanation of how memory processes work. You hear and see. Oh, you're actually doing it, huh? On number I remember, the Mush Star model was the first described by Richard Atkinson in Richard Schifrin in 1968. That's as much as I can be asked reading. I've not finished it yet. It's not until, like, next Thursday. So we're square. Psychology seems dull. It's not really. I would think so. Now, what do you even like, learn in psychology? Stuff. Such as? Uh, but there are two sides to psychology. There's the scientific and behavioural side. Wow, sounds intriguing. It is. I'm sure it is. It is, it is, it is. 
Wow, that was another banshee being blown up. <laughs> and look, there's another one being blown up. And look, another one being blown up. And another one being blown up. At one point I get bored and just decide, oh, I can't be asked missile potting anymore. I'm just going to go crazy. Oh, and make sure you don't rip the missile pod off the stand. Because it's completely pointless if you do. You have no ammo, pretty much, if you do. Well, you have a bit of ammo, but not enough. We really can't think of anything to say. I'm trying to think of all the swear words we know. Mushroom cops. <gasps> oh no. Oh, oh, that's a bad one. <laughs> I praise this Banshee until he gets killed. He's like, wow, you're so good at dodging, and then he gets owned. He did last a long time though. So now! Wow. Oh. And I think it's about time. Actually, no, it's not, never mind. We still got to fight all the jetpack crews. So excited! You're excited about what? Oh, I'm sorry if this part's kind of, um, what do you call it, untalkative, if you will. I'm confused and still bored. <laughs> oh wait, hang on! Yay, it's the moment we've been waiting for. Oh, oh, oh! Is this it? Is this the event? Um, pass smash! <laughs> Boom! And just for good luck. <laughs> hey! I love that, bro. And that's how the sniper gets chucked off the edge and lands on the telephone wire. And oh, look at it's... this for bravery. I'm gonna knife you in the neck. And then, Romeo. then Dutch the meat head. Look at Dutch. He's all like, yeah, I just punched that brute in the face. I'm a meat head. Shot him, but no, I want to feel more manly. Get this thing off of me. Ah, 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 come in relief. Ah, 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 ah. Like we need comic relief. We've already had fun from Romeo getting hit. Yay! Yay! How <laughs> bad? It's like when the game expects you to be like sad, but it's not. Oh no, Romeo's got hit. Oh god! Hey, uh, in a uh, Alone in the Dark Four, it's a bit where you open a coffin and you see, uh, um, like a vision of your companion dead. <gasps> now I hated her guts, so it was a. I was very happy to see that. It was supposed to be scary, but but I was cheering. Yay! Aha, uh -huh, game, you think I care about that character. You wonderful game, you. Well, I don't. So, yeah. Back to playing El Rookie. You mean Steve? That's the one, Steve. Steve the Rookie. Oh. Yeah. Um, so, where are we heading off now? Oh yeah, that's where we're heading off. Well, we're heading off to the underground tunnels. And this isn't a flashback, this is a real talky-talky person. I know. It's Dare, which, actually, I think her real name is Vanessa, said in an earlier part. Um, but yeah, we just call her Dare, because that's what it says on her helmet. I don't know why I did this. Why did I do this? And I get shot. This is completely... Like, this may seem completely and utterly odd, but the end game has begun. What are we talking about, Sid? I know, only... We're, yeah. Two more missions to do, and that's it. But to be honest, they are long missions. Oh, yeah. Each one's probably about 
20 minutes, so I imagine four more parts. No, uh, five or six more parts, I imagine. Oh my god, boom! Done by about five, eighteen, Jesus And Christ. I think, I think I've explained this, that be, um, actually I, I better not explain because the part's nearly over and I'll end up kind of going over it. And I probably could have explained it by now, why the hell didn't I? But yes, we're going to crash into a lamppost and end it there, just so you know. Here we go. See ya. Oh!